Welcome back to Lumifa Classic. And once again, we're in the back of my 1991 Daimler XJ40. The first two videos on this car have been the most popular videos on my channel. We've gotten way more views than I usually get. You guys seem to really like this car and you're really excited about the project. So since you guys are so excited about the project, I thought I'd do one of the things that you guys really asked for first, which is a cleanup and detail of the engine bay. I'm not going to do a full detail in this video, it's just because it's a little pointless because I'm about to do a major service where a lot of parts are coming off and it's just a lot easier to clean a lot of those parts off of the car and off of the engine. Also with those parts off I'll get to nooks and crannies that are just a lot easier to clean then. However the engine bay is really filthy so we're going to do a cleanup of the engine bay just make it look a lot nicer. Uh, I'm just going to use some simple things at home, I'm not going to use a pressure washer or anything like that because um, I want to be careful with all the uh, electrics. There's a lot of it on the XJ40 and I don't think those uh, connections are very waterproof. So we're not going to use a pressure washer. We're going to use warm water, some rags, a lot of washing up liquid. Just things that are um, nice and safe for all the paint and all the stickers because I want to keep all that originality. But I just want to make it a lot cleaner so that when I work on it, I don't get completely dirty. So we're going to put the car in the barn because it's really windy out and we're going to get out some water and start cleaning up the engine. And here's the engine bay and as you can see and probably saw in the previous videos, it's really filthy and dirty. And a lot of you guys requested a video on cleaning up and detailing the engine bay. I want to clean it up before I start working on this thing because it's just filthy. So you can see I just, you know, went here with my finger a bit. It's completely filthy. There's pine needles and stuff everywhere. So I'm going to vacuum that up because this will just trap moisture. That's the last thing you want uh, anywhere that moisture can stand and especially on a car like this that likes to rust. Uh, other than that, I'm going to clean up some of the oil up front here. I'm not going to clean up too much on the cam cover here because it's coming off to replace the seal and also replace all the seals uh, around the spark plugs. This is leaking a little bit of oil into those spark plug wells, it's just, you know, dry seals. I'm going to try and clean up some of the oil up here a little bit as well because also in a future video I will be removing that pump. That's the pump for the self-leveling rear suspension. The uh, suspension part, you know, the shocks have already been removed. It's been converted to regular shocks. So this whole pump doesn't really do anything at all in all the hoses. I'm going to remove all of that just to clean up the hoses. Also, it's leaking pretty badly, um, so that will eliminate that leak. There will be a future video showing you how to remove all that. Speaking of future videos, uh, you guys really wanted a service video on this car as well. And uh, all the service parts have finally arrived, all the fluids and filters and spark plugs and everything. So I was thinking of doing a um, bit of a longer video. So one, a little bit longer video where I do a complete service and tune up on one of these cars. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that or if you want me to split it up into several videos. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see. So now I'm going to start with a vacuum cleaner, just vacuum out all of this. Then I'm going to get a uh, wet rag with some, um, some warm water and do some washing up liquid and start just like washing down the uh, inner wings here. I'm going to be really careful because I want to preserve all the stickers here. Some of them are the original ones and some of them are, you know, added along the years when the AC has been serviced. So I like all those stickers and they're all over the engine. So I'm going to be really careful with some warm water and just some washing up liquid. And hopefully all of this will stay, um, stay there. So now I'm going to get out the vacuum cleaner and start cleaning up all this mess. With all of the debris vacuumed away, I have a container here with some warm water and a lot of just normal, you know, just kitchen washing up fluid or dishwasher soap and just normal like kitchen rag. I'm just going to start cleaning out the inside of the fenders. So you guys notice I am inside because it's, it's really, really windy outside. I was planning on doing this out in the sun, but it's just extremely windy here and you guys wouldn't be able to hear anything of what I'm saying. Uh, so we're in my barn here, and that's why it might be a little dark, uh, but at least you guys can hear me. For any hard to reach places like right around here, the power steering reservoir, just grab a normal paintbrush, just bought a bunch of cheap brushes, I use these all the time in the garage. Put some soap on there, 
and you can get in here underneath and just clean up as well. A lot of people like to use pressure washers when cleaning up engines. And yeah, it works on, you know, if you have cars with not a lot of electronics, but especially these, the old Jags, I mean, there's so many electrical connections everywhere over here. And I don't think that they're that weatherproof after almost 30 years. So I'm not gonna risk getting any water in there. Um, I mean, this works just as well. This takes a little bit longer, but it's weirdly satisfying when you're done. Also, um, I do have some chemicals if there are things that are stuck on there. I do have some, you know, uh, de-gunk, like engine cleaner spray in the bottle. Um, let me see how far I can get with just normal dishwasher fluid, because this is completely safe on all paint and all rubber and everything, and it, you know, it breaks down as well, so it's, it's also pretty environmentally friendly. The nice thing about using a damp cloth is that you can just come in here carefully and you see that sticker would have probably fallen off if you used like, you know, anything harsher and you can clean it up like that and well that looks pretty much brand new. Let's clean up here on the sides as well. Like I mentioned I'm not going for perfection this time. I'm just cleaning everything up so it's nice to work on. Then when everything is serviced I'm going to detail the engine bay for real. Up here, which is really grimy and greasy, I tried with cloth a bit and cleaned up the sign here really nicely, but everything else is just really greasy. I'm gonna use some just engine degreaser. Spray it on over here. Up top here, and I'll let that sit for a couple minutes, and then we'll come back with the cloth and clean that off. I'll let that soak for about 10 minutes, like it was recommended on the can. I'm gonna grab that brush water on it and just you know work it in here seeing all the dirt come loose uh normally you probably just grab a hose and go in there but I mean, i'm inside here and also i really want to minimize the amount of water i get in this engine bay it's... i've heard a lot of stories about all the electrical connections on the xj40 to get water in them you get a bunch of problems so that's one thing i'm trying to avoid and you know this works just as well it's a bit more labor intensive, but I don't really mind. I think it's less labor intensive than if I have to go and try and figure out a bunch of electrical problems I did not have before. I'm going to continue with the brush here, clean everything up. Now I'll grab some paper towels and actually wipe off all the dirt, water, and the greaser. And that's as clean as I'm going to get that cam cover. There's no oil or grease on it anymore, but a lot of oxidation, paint is peeling over here. So I think when I have it off, when I'm replacing all the seals and the gasket around it, I'm going to just strip up all the paint, repaint it, polish up these ribs here just like I did on the 1975 XJ6, and it should look really nice. Other than that, I am pretty happy with the result. I mean, Everything is nice and clean now. You can read everything. Uh, all the labels and stuff are still there. Everything's nice. I haven't really found any nasty surprises or anything. I found the tiniest, tiniest little, tiny little rust hole up there right next to that um, sticker. I can show that in a bit. Otherwise, uh, everything looks very, very nice. Uh, I'm gonna pull the car out into the sun so you guys can see what it looks like in some better light. It might be really windy out there so you might not be able to hear me at all. So I apologize for that. And so I'm gonna pull out the car now. You can see what it looks like. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the wind and also there's some chickens in the background. So uh, I hope you guys can still hear me. You can see this is a lot cleaner than before. Paint is nice and shiny over here. You can read all the stickers again. You can read everything on top of here. The stickers here and here. And I can touch any part of the engine bay now. I'll be working on and I'm not gonna get dirty or sticky or grimy so that's really nice and that's kind of what I was going for like I said this is not a full detail video I will do that when everything is serviced and done and this thing is and I'm using it again I will do an engine detail and show you how to make everything look really nice but this was just cleaning up the worst of it and making it a nice place to work so there's a lot of service work that's going to come up uh, pretty soon so let me know in the comments down below like I asked before if you if you're okay with everything sort of being in one a little bit longer video or if you want to split up. 
Also, one thing that you might have noticed that, I mean, I didn't clean super thoroughly behind everything. I just put a brush in here. That's because when, we, when I'm replacing all the fluids here, I'll loosen this up and move this to the side and I can clean underneath. When I replace the air filter, um, I'll, you know, remove the whole box, clean underneath. When I replace the coolant, I'll re remove that whole thing and clean underneath. So that's why I just clean surfaces I can see, because I know that when I'm going to do surface work, I'm going to remove things completely. Also, there's no point in cleaning up around here because we're replacing all this and we're replacing all those hoses. So I just cleaned up things that I know I won't replace right now and that are out in the open. And that's it for this video. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it looks a lot better. And yes, it's not a full detail. That's not what I was going for at all. I just want it to look a lot nicer and be a lot cleaner and be a nice place to work on. I will detail everything up when I've replaced all the fluids and done all the service and everything is up to spec. Then I'll do a full detailed video for you guys and show how to make the engine bay look really, really nice. But I think this was a really good start. And for something that you use as a, as a daily driver and just, you know, maybe park on the street or you drive a lot on dusty roads, I mean, this is enough just to clean up your engine bay and just make it look really nice. The good thing about getting rid of all that dust and all the leaves and stuff is now that there's nothing where the uh, water and moisture can stay trapped and start rusting so that's a really good thing just clean up your engine bay a little bit now and then and you'll prolong the life of your car also it'll be a lot nicer to work on when you have to so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends leave a comment down below if you're not already subscribed please subscribe to the channel it really helps out a lot and until next time i'm adam and this was a little bit of a classic i'll see you soon